Hello everyone, my name is Sick and welcome back to the town of Sickville. It's been a few weeks since I last played Banished, so it was about time we checked in on my people, see how they are doing out here in the wilderness. Uh, I left them at, at, an, at an okay position. We have four builders, nine laborers to spare, but we're running uh, even on food production almost. So we're producing 1153, we're consuming almost 1100. So we only have a small gap between what we're actually producing and what we're eating. Which means our situation is still precarious and we need to do something about it. And there's not a whole lot I can do. I can't make a tidal pool, I don't think. Uh, we already have the apiary. I don't need another one. Gatherer's hut would be very strong, but I'm not sure where I would actually put one. Because we have this area that's being used. We have this area that's being used. And yeah, I could use one over here, maybe. But it's quite a long distance, isn't it? It's quite far for anyone, anybody to walk. So I would have to expand all the way over here with houses and a storage barn and it's going to take too much time I think. So uh, we have a fishing dock over here, I think it just finished as well. Yeah, so it started its first season, it might pick up the pace and make up for our deficit there. Not quite sure yet, we'll see. We can't do anything else though, because we have, uh, what's this, shore houses where sand and clay can be dug up for further processing at the glasswork or brickworks. Also where frogs and turtles can be found. Interesting. Frogs and turtles. How much space does it actually take? Hmm. Doesn't look like it's going to fit anywhere over here. Or oh, maybe over here, but that's going to eat up into the... Into my fishing area. Ah, oh, we do have a tidal pool actually. I forgot about this one. So we have oyster, mussel, crayfish, a pearl. We have a pearl. Wow. Okay. I wonder how much that's worth. So let's see. Let's uh, inventory. Where's the pearl? Let's say mm -hmm. uh, 60 pearls in the in the trading post. And a trader has just arrived. So let's have a look at what he has to trade. Charkey cuts, brined cheese, and vegetable oil. None of which are things that I want, so I'll, I'm going to dismiss him for now. Um, let's see, we could stock up on um, firewood, because we have enough for the winter, I think, and we have quite a lot of logs now, so we could trade just, uh, trade the firewood. We're not storing anything at the moment, so let's, let's say 100. And let's see... Ah, I think we were saving the candles or something, right? Let's see, we have the, the stone and salt mine, yeah, 70% remaining, and I think it's upgradable. Not sure if I've actually upgraded it already or not, though I'm pretty sure I haven't, so... Ah, it's this button, so you need 70 candles and 100 logs to uh, upgrade the surface mine to, uh, you know, for like a deep mine, I suppose. And it allows the ground to be reclaimed as well, which is really good. Because otherwise this will be just a massive hole in the ground, which I do not want. But yeah, we need to do something about the food situation. But we can't make orchards, we cannot make fields with sowing crops or anything like that. So we need to still maintain our um, fishing, I suppose. I, yeah, I suppose we could use more fisheries. Like one right in the middle there. That could be okay. Right? But well, we, we would need a bridge, so let's get started on that first, actually. Let's see, a uh, wooden bridge is fine for now. Let's drag it over to this side. That doesn't work for some reason. Interesting. There we go, that works, that's fine too. And then a regular, lo regular road leading up to it. Let's see, how are we doing on families? Uh, 38 families, 24 homes. So we have nowhere near enough homes, but I can't really upgrade any or like any, build any more homes because we don't have the food to support more families over here. Which is really unfortunate. Let's see, the materials required to perform are not available. Interesting. So they, they need more beeswax. Last season we had 297 honey from the, from the apiary, which is good for only one person working. And then also 90 beeswax and 16 mushrooms, now 16 onions. <laughs> Let's see, we don't have anyone working the, uh, the herbalist. I suppose we could have one working now. One of two. 
Uh, why not have two? I still have a lot of extra laborers to spare, so... Yep, getting pretty close on that, so that's good. Let's see... Food. Another fishery. Right in there, and as far onto the ground as possible, so we have as much water surface as we can get. Really important. Let's see. Looks like our fishery starts over here. This works out, just like that. It's a little bit annoying to see this stuff through the trees sometimes, but oh well. It's fine, I suppose. We do have two traders working, so let's see what... Do we have... Yeah, we already have 100 firewood. So let's go for 200. Might as well, right? Because they already made up the difference. We have 228 stored fuel at the moment. So it looks like these um, woodcutters are catching up quite quickly. Because, of course, they have a lot of wood to spare. So, or a lot of logs to spare. So it shouldn't be too surprising, I suppose. Let's see, how are we doing the iron ore? Actually, this is something we need to look in as well. 262. Okay. This might not be a bad time to get started on an iron mine. So, let's have a look. Uh, resource production. Ores and minerals. A mine. Used to mine iron and coal out of the ground. Copper ore mine, mine shaft. Copper ore, that's something new. Tin ore, stone and salt mine, iron ore and coal mine. A surface mine for mining ore and iron coal. Upgraded version allowed the ground to be planted. I definitely want that version then. I definitely want to reclaim as much stuff as I can. So let's see, let's put this one right next to the other one. And let's have a look at what this trader has to offer us. Turnips, potato and sugar refined. But this is not seeds, so I don't want to buy food, I don't think. We still have close to 4,000, so we're doing okay on that. Let's dismiss this guy and hope that a better trader will turn up soon. Alright, we have enough uh, stuff over here. So that's good. We might make a bridge over this way as well, actually. That, look, that could look pretty cool. So we would have to start over here, and then let's see. We could actually make it all the way over there, but that's quite far, so maybe... Yeah, that would that would look a whole lot better. Let's see. Go up like this. Yep. That's good. Now we can later on form the road over here. Maybe not in a straight line or maybe follow the coastline. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But I think it will be better to have this bridge over here because then they can walk over this bridge and go to the storehouse over there instead of going the long way around. So that's good. Um, oh, that's the trading post. I thought this was going to be a house and then this is the trading post, but that's not true. Fisherman, fisherman. Yeah, we definitely do need some more houses soon. Four, four. How are we doing? Because maybe our fishery just finished before, so... Let's see. Use 6500, produced. Yep, yeah, okay. We're doing okay for now, especially if we're going to use this one as well. So let's build two houses over here and then that's up our fishery or fishermen to 12 so we have four in each and this doesn't overlap too much so that's actually okay I hope we'll see how is the mine looking getting there as well that's good and then we have our bridge which also has enough materials which is really nice let's have a look at how we're going to plan this road. So we could do it like this. this. Yeah, this does not look too bad, actually. So, that's fine. Let's let's put it down like that. 43% full. What does the bank barn again need? Building supplies. Right. Yep. Okay. Um, so where are we storing the planks? 28 lumber. Yep, that's good. And then we have... Uh, oh, man. Uh, we need to look at building supplies as well. Refined resources, I suppose. Woodcutter, chopper, bundling shed, fuel refinery, smelting, 
foundry, forge, metalsmith. All of these buildings are still new to me, so I have to find out where everything is. Probably it's in here. Saw pit, saw mill. Saw mill could be really powerful at this moment. Shipyard, brickworks. Wait, it's hot acid shaped bricks for advanced buildings. Yeah, glassworks, homeware supplier. Building supplier prepares building supplies. The building supplier is a craft person who compiles the resources necessary to build complex structures into transportable packages. Right, yeah, so I need I would need 60 planks for that. Let's see, maybe I could put it down somewhere. I don't think I actually did that already, so. Right, because what is this? Chandlery, right? The shape of that building does look oddly familiar, so I've, I've, it feels like I should have built it already at some point, but I can't remember if I where it would be, because it would be pretty hard to miss in a town this size, right? I mean, that would be crazy. Right. Oh, we have some workers, so let's, uh, let's up the miners to six. So we have four laborers left, we could do with one, one less builder, I suppose. Um, yeah, Merving and Tamarillin have moved in. It seems like a trend, like we all always have older women with younger boys for some reason. I don't know why. This works out that way. Lots of mills in this game. <laughs> right. Pretty close to having our second house finished as well, which is good. They're away from town by quite a bit, but that's fine. I do kind of want to get started on this uh, bank barn though, that would be quite cool. So yeah, maybe just plop down the building supplier, because like, like I said, this shape looks oddly familiar to me, but I don't see it anywhere in, the, in my town, so it should be okay I guess, right? Maybe put it down here somewhere? Like this. Put it down there. I'm trying to figure out what looks the nicest and not exactly what's the the most effective, yeah. I suppose this will be okay. This actually yeah, I like this spot. That's fine. Alright, this is past, so they should not bring any more lumber over here. I do really need to get started on those building supplies, and I'm curious to see what they actually need. So... Let's have a look. <laughs> the previous season just finished, so... Current season, 94, that's fine. How did this fishery do? 628 fish, that's really good. I think. Uh, use 1700, oh yeah. Right, we need to be careful now. They're starting to even out again, so... We're going to maintain 3800 for a while, but I'm really hoping we can buy some seeds soon, because that would really help me out. And I could start designating some fields. Not exactly sure where exactly, or quite yet. That's a better word, actually. Not quite sure where yet. <laughs> Maybe over here somewhere, or over here. Clear out this wood. Because this area over here does seem very nice for another gatherer's hut. So I think I want to save that for for a gatherer's hut. And then I could maybe do some farms over here. Or do some farms over here. Though this area would be very nice for a gatherer's hut as well. Choices, eh? <laughs> so many choices to make all the time. Yeah, it's kind of like a waiting game at the moment. Looks like our food is going down, which is not good. It's concerning me a little bit. That's probably because of our new houses. They just took up a lot of food. Wow, look at all the food they have in their inventory. That's crazy, isn't it? They had a child, which is good. TV, ah. For once, we have an older boy with a younger girl. <laughs> not sure if that's actually better or like more or less disturbing. I don't know. Maybe it's better if I stop looking at the age differences in this game, because it's going to drive me nuts. Let's see, our trailer. 
doesn't have enough stuff to work with, I suppose. We still have 15 clothes stored, which is fine. It's not like we're in any kind of a hurry to make more clothes. Leather is all we've got to work with, though. Or, or maybe, yeah, uh, reeds and feathers, but <laughs> leather would be better. Like, just the regular hide coats, I think. Not sure if, if their statistics for these clothes are different, but I'm pretty sure they have to be. Otherwise, otherwise there's no point to them, right? But it's not very obvious what will be better. Because reeds and feathers seems like a pretty poor... You know, seems like a pretty poor option for making clothes. <laughs> but I've never tried in real life, so who am I to say? Maybe it's really good. Probably not, though. Right, luxury production, small tavern... A lot of stuff I also don't have time for yet. I really want to stop struggling with producing enough food. Like, I want to be drowning in food. That's what, that's, that's what I want my problem to be. What's this? A water tower provides clean water, which can be used at the pub kitchen, building to fill tin canteens. People enjoy this. Huh, interesting. So that would help out with their health, I suppose. Right, we have a lot of uh, medi herbal medicine, I think. So let's try putting some of that uh, in our trading post as well for trade. Let's say 60 out of the 100 that we've got. That would be good. Alright, let's see, how are we... Um, now I lost my train of thought, I was going to look at something. Oh yeah, I was going to look at candles. Maybe it's better if I check over here, in our inventory. Candles, 33 candles, I do need 70, so... Yeah, I think they need 10 beeswax or something to make, make a candle by the looks of it, because if it... She had seven before, right? And then she didn't have enough. And now, ah, now it says again there's not enough to work with. So maybe it's even more. I'm not sure. Maybe another apiary would be nice. It did give me 324 um, food for one worker in one season, so that's pretty okay. Right? If you consider 600 for four people, yeah. And I do need more food production, so let's see. It wouldn't hurt to have more beeswax. Maybe have this one over here somewhere. Right next to the road. Yeah, I like that spot. Let's have a look at the trader. Beetroot seeds, awesome. Alright, cool. So I want 3,000. Most definitely. 10 for... Uh, wow, that's not a whole lot, is it? All of this stuff. Most definitely. Let's see, 700 of that. That's 1,500. 89 bone meal, 100 herbs, uh, so close, 200, <gasps> we're so close, alright, let's see, more, um, more firewood, let's say 60 more, and that should do it, I think, that would suck, oh, damn it, this is starting to annoy me, like, putting that in. I wish, I wish this would go up by the hundreds or something, you know? Like, clicking this is fine for, for what we need. It's not too many. You're overpaying by... okay. An additional two. Alright, so let's say 150. 150 feathers, yep. Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, that's really good. So, let's have a look. Crop field. Where do we want to put it? Maybe having a crop field over here for now would be nice. Let's see, let's say 20. Well, let's just start over here. See how far we can go. Up to the bank barn, right? That's 9 or 14 by 20. That looks like a pretty nice size. Right? So we need to remove two trees. Um, that will be done in a hurry, I think. Almost done with our second apiary as well, which is nice. So we can get another... Um, not sure what that, that what, what that would be called. And a beekeeper, I suppose? Was that the word? Right? Yeah, beekeeper. Alright. A crop field. Awesome. Plantation. 
standard orchard. I can't remember if this was actually... Oh no. Alright, let's say beetroots. I definitely want five farmers. And once... Uh, this is already winter, so when it hurt, when we hit springtime, uh, the, these guys will start working the fields. There won't be any work being done at the moment. Alright, let's, uh, let's build a road across our field. And then once we finish this bank barn, that will be really good. Alright, let's have a look at their building supplier. Let's make one. 12... Holy shit, that needs a lot of stuff. Wow. 30 brick and 18 lumber. That would not be too bad, I suppose. 9 iron. That needs to be smelted iron, not iron ore, I suppose. But 30 brick and 18 lumber will be okay. So let's have a look what we need for bricks. Um, resource production. Foresters and logging. Nope. Placer mine. A water site method of harvesting precious ores, such as gold and silver. Nope. Smaller quarry. Quarry, quarry, quarry. Nope. Uh, Shorehouse. Glassworks and brickworks. Right, yeah, we need uh, sand and clay. So we need clay. Let's say we can fit it. Yeah, we could fit it, fit it in over here, actually. That's pretty nice. So let's put one down there. And then we need um, something to to uh, refine it as well, I suppose. Fuel refinery, so that's where you make fuel. Uh, stacks burner. Let's see, lumber construction and materials. That's probably where we need to look. Homeware supplier, glassworks, brickworks, yep. What is that icon on the right? I have no idea. Probably clay, right? That looks pretty cool too, actually. It's a pretty damn cool looking building. I like it. Probably um, build it over here. That looks pretty cool to me. Let's pause this one. Yeah, we need 60 clay. So let's pause this one for now. Make sure that this one gets built first. Alright. It's late winter, so it's still uh, 0 degrees. The farmers won't be going to work quite yet. Food is going back up though, 3900 now. That makes me feel a little bit better. And especially like, we're going to have to wait pretty much all year before the beetroots will be finished. Because they will be planted at, at uh, springtime, they will grow during summertime, and then they will be harvested at um, autumn during the fall. And then we'll, be have, we'll have a lot of beetroots stored for winter. That will probably be quite a lot of food all, of, all at once. Mm -hmm. And if the rest of our food production stuff can keep us equal or like at this level, that will be really good. Because then we finally will be saving up some stuff. I wonder how many people work at the shore house. Is it one or two? From the size of the building I would say, yeah, one. Big sand, big... yeah, I want clay, for sure. Let's say of the dry goods to a thousand as well as the materials. Looks like we just burned through all of our stored fuel for the winter time. But we didn't run out, so that's really good. Armand the stonecutter was crushed by a rock. Holy shit. That's really unfortunate. And then this guy... Um, well, he's off doing other jobs, probably. I have no idea what his profession is called. It's only one out of one, so... It's not a blacksmith. It's not a carver. Where does it say one? Dredger? Nope. Taylor? No. Shoreman? No. Packer. Ah, that's it. Packer. So let's see what he's doing. Picking up resources. Alright. Picking up more resources by the looks of it. What does he have in his inventory? Rough tools and fish. Stone. Firewood. So yeah, he's, he's, just going out, he's just going about his business, by the looks of it. He's getting enough beeswax to work on the candles again, so I think the two apiaries will do the trick quite nicely. 18 beeswax, yeah. That's really good. Let's also build, um, let's say, a small bit of road right next to the apiary over there. And then let's get started on the brickworks. 
Maybe I need more shore houses at some point as well. Because only one, I don't think it's going to be very fast at getting all the clay. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's have a look. That looks interesting, actually. So that just looks like the regular farming animation. <laughs> yeah, we really rely on the river in this playthrough. Or at least like when you start at the higher difficulty with no seeds, no animals, you really need to rely on all the wilderness around you and on, on the rivers and stuff, because that's your only source of income for food. But now we're getting our beetroots, so they're being planted. You can see these got planted first and they're already a little bit bigger than the ones over on this side of the field. Let's see, 45% yield. Interesting. So yeah, this will go up to 100. And then, um, let's see, enabled farmers take harvest to storage, default, disabled laborers take harvest to storage. Interesting. I usually never have enough laborers to go around. I do now at the moment, but um, it would be better if the farmers do it instead. Because that will be part of the job, right? Because, like, uh, yeah, it would be better for the farmers to be prioritized for harvesting as well. We have some iron over here that I apparently never picked up, so let's see. Pick up the iron, yep. Most definitely want that in my inventory. It does look like our iron is going, is getting used up almost completely all the time. Or maybe this doesn't, iron ore doesn't count for this. That's probably what's going on there. Iron ore 284, yeah. So, this only counts for smelted iron, it's not an act actual are a useful representative for the actual amount of iron ore that we can use. Which is a good thing to, to keep in mind, I think. Right, so we have 15 lumber, 40 stone. We're still working on the clay. So 32 clay so far. Oh, okay, that's not too bad, actually. So where's the clay being stored? That's what I don't know. Maybe... Oh yeah, the clay is over here. So it would be good to have uh, a storage area over here as well. Let's see. Stockpiles. Let's put it like this. Uh, six by four seems fine to me. Or actually... Let's remove that for now, and let's make a, a slightly bigger one that lines up with like the end of the house there. Otherwise it's going to annoy me later on. Let's see. Let's get a regular stockpile. Like this, 6x6 six six after all. Yep, that's fine. They need to remove four, build, uh, four trees and then it will be finished and they, they can store the, the clay right, right in here and he can take it right from there as well instead of having to go all the way over here, which is really annoying. Alright, how are we doing on time? 34 minutes, okay. So that's the end of this episode. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys for the next one.